do something that's a little bit off the wall. I'm going to use one of my favorite filters in here, which is the contrast color range filter, um, which is uh, not one of the new ones. This was in Color Effects 3 as well. But what this does, it's a little bit hard to explain. It increases the contrast between areas of opposing color. So, as you'll be aware, the color wheel for, for light, um, the opposite of uh, um, red is cyan, the opposite of um, green is magenta, and the opposite of yellow is blue. So, if you were to choose yellow on the color picker here, like that, you see we've got a bar here to choose that, what that's going to do is it's going to lighten the color we chose and darken the opposite color. So it's going to add contrast to the image based on what the colors in the image are. Does that make sense? Tricky. Play with it. Um, but the reason I like it is that it does some wacky things to skin. And it, give, it can give skin a real glow. So if you were to choose something in the orange range here, uh, now I think that's way too strong. I, I don't particularly like uh, how strong that effect is at the moment. But it lets you see that, that we've brightened all those oranges that you tend to find in skin. Now what I tend to do is go a little bit to the right of that into the yellows and just towards the greens. Um, to give that skin a, a nice glow. Remember, we can compare how it looked before and after by hitting the compare button. So it is giving that skin a big glow. And you can see the skin gets lighter, the blue in the hat gets darker. Watch this. Before and after. Before and after. And it's also darkening down these beads over here. I'm going to sort that out in a minute because I don't really want those going that dark. I don't want to lose detail there. I don't mind losing detail on the bottom of the hat because that kind of it gives this wonderful light and dark adjacent to each other here which really draws the eye that big contrast next to uh, her face really draws the eye and that's really what I want so uh, the way I'm viewing this image by the way that what I really wanted to do with this image was I wanted to really um, use color uh, to 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 make a massive contrast between her face and her lovely blonde hair and the blue in the hat and the sort of the greys that I'm going to turn a little bit blue later in the background. So it's really a sort of a blue-yellow, blue-orange, uh, opposite colours type effect I'm going for here. Um, now that idea sort of came to me through experimentation. It's not like I looked at the image and went, aha! I know what I'm going to do with this one. These things come to you as you work with an image. So this is now the third time I've processed this image. I did it once, and then I did it again preparing for the tutorial, and now I'm doing it for the third time. So each time you do it, more ideas occur to you. You do things slightly differently each time. Um, I encourage you, if you get the chance, to, to process an image, then throw away that image and do it again, and it'll be better the next time. So anyway, right, we've got... That's, our, that's the colour we've picked. I'm going to choose the contrast amount to apply based on that color. Now I don't want to add too much contrast here because I'm going to do another contrast step in a minute. So I'm actually going to, this, this contrast slider here is just a plain old contrast in the traditional sense just based on brightness values. So I'm actually not going to apply any of that contrast at all. I'm just going to let that skin have a little glow from the color contrast slider and uh, I'm not going to do anything with the brightness. We've also got some sliders here that appear on every filter. And we've got some shadow slider and the highlight slider. And what this does is it changes how much the filter affects the shadow portions of the image and the highlight portions of the image. So if you find that a, the filter is losing detail for you within a shadow area, you can protect those shadow areas by dragging the shadow slider up a little bit. So in, in our case, if you look at her knees, where she's got these, there's a little bit of texture uh, on her knees there. Uh, if I just drag that shadow slider up, you can see that the, that the detail on the knees is being protected a little bit. I don't want to do too much of that because I'm not overly concerned about detail there, but I don't want to lose all of it. So I'm going to just stop there with that particular plugin. And I'm Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Please help support the show by using our sponsor's promo codes or by passing the promo codes on to your friends. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.